Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bray. My company is Black Series Edition LLC. I am deciding to, I'm gonna to paint to the wall because there's no way in the world. I'm gonna build a screen this big. Uh, 235.1s are really, really wide, wide screens. And this would just be way too much work to be able to actually build it and paint it. So I'm gonna paint it right to the wall. I already requested permission. I wish I hate doing that at the end of the day. I can't wait to buy a house. I don't have to worry about doing that ever again. But as you can see, uh, I'm going to, I already asked permission. Got to go ahead. As long as I just paint over it when I leave, um, they don't have no problem with it. So we're going to paint to the wall a 168 inch, which I got the measurements at 235.1. I was looking through one of my old demonstrations and I saw 158 inch 235.1 and again, fell in love with the screen. I want another one again. So I'm going to paint one here. So already I've moved out all the um, collectibles are all gone. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get ready to paint my screen in directly to the wall. Like I said, it's much easier to be building it because again, I'm not pulling a bunch of lumber through here. I'm not stapling. And this is a wide screen at 168 inches. It's way bigger than the one I have in the next room. And I'm going to get rid of all these desks, all this stuff, and all this stuff here. Put my cutout coat I'm um, sofa in, which I wanted to do. Wireless keyboard and mouse, tuck everything under the under the um sofa, and that's it. My complete and wireless I gotta bring in a um a system, a routing system to Bluetooth the entire section. So this whole section is gonna be Bluetooth. I want to be to come in, sit on my um cloud couch, uh, work on my um my um watch movies on this. I'm actually gonna pick up a view sonic ultra short throw uh, projector, this 235. That way I don't have this projector here, the other projector can sit right up against the screen with no problem. And we're gonna put two projectors behind us for portrait mode for my work computers over here. And get rid of all of this mess. Get this, clean it all up, be done. So I already got, um, I was surprised to literally get all this stuff into the closet. I told you this place got some really big, big freaking closets. I need to throw all the stuff in there. So that'll stay in there. If I need the room, I'll get a storage unit and I'll stick it all in storage. But for right now, I'm going to paint uh, the complete cinema right to the wall. Now, can't use this screen with the lights on it, the wall because gone. That's what I said, we need to paint. Because I do want to work in here with my lights on. Can't work in an office in the dark, it's not gonna work for me. And I would like to see some light come through my windows. So. Right now, I gotta be in the dark because if I turn the lights on, my screen washes out. At least I got my 235.1 back. I was just thinking, I loved that. I saw the demonstration of the 235 that came on and I said, I want another one so bad. And here, I'm watching the how to, how to do it videos. Ooh, I hate freaking getting electrocuted. See, I can have my lights on in here. No problem whatsoever. Cause I got the technology in this room. So in here, I can watch TV, sit down and chill. I'm good. I'm going here, I can't have my lights on. So that's what I'm talking about, inconvenience. The inconvenience of not being able to turn my lights on. So we'll get all that changed. I am processing orders all this week, so thank you so much for the uh, orders. We've been getting orders left and right for the complete cinema. I'm going to be doing a 168 inch 235.1. It's not the biggest one that I've done. The biggest one I've done was 178, but it's just a pretty good size. And like I said, I'm not bringing in lumber for, to paint this and it's a long screen. I have no idea where I'm going to paint this thing. If I build it, I know where I'm, where I'm going to be able to put it at, to build it, put it together. So I'm going to paint it directly to the wall. And the wall here, the walls here, this is the first place literally, no, no, yeah, this is the first place literally I've actually had a place that had actual flat walls. Actual flat walls. Freaking fantastic. I can build 150 inch, that's easy. 150 inch for the P2, very easy to do. 160 inch, 235.1, whole another story with the screens look wide. So I can't sit here. This has to do, all this won't be here. But I just sit on my computer here, uh, and I'm out of the shot, and I just watch it from here when I'm working. Uh, 
man, at least I got my screen back. So those of you interested in doing 235.1 setups, guess what? You have a couple of options. You can go the route of basically using the wide angle camera lens. They suck. I've had them. They get a little fuzzy around the edges and you have to put your projector in 1610. Or you can buy one of those expensive model projectors that does have 235.1 or get the ViewSonic, which I'm using behind me right now. My ViewSonic projector uh, does 235.1. That one right there is short though, so the short though is a little bit more expensive, like four or 500 bucks for those. But you, if you're not interested, you're gonna do long throw, you're not worried about short throw, you can get them at 150 bucks at 235.1. Actually, I gave one away. I gave one to a family. Because they got it from a friend, and it was a knockoff projector. We knew the screen paint wasn't gonna support it, so I gave him one of my ViewSonics. And I kept the short throw. But this is the reason why I'm explaining to people and they say, oh, but I can paint it to my wall and it looks fantastic. Nah, that screen's actually washed out. I'm used to seeing black screens. If that screen could work well, then when you turn your lights on, it should work perfectly. And the reason why, because all walls are not ambient light projection technology. That's why. So keep in mind, you spend a lot of money for a projector, but you will never get a chance to use its full potential because you can only see in the dark. So I put my order in for my neons because you know how I do my faces. I like neon all over the place. So I got a little bit of neon right here just to remind me a little bit. A little bit of neon right there. But I'm going to neon this whole place out. So all this, boom, neon. I think we're going to do this little hallway in here. Bathroom's going to get neoned out. We definitely going to redo the kitchen. The kitchen's definitely getting neoned out. Got to do something. Kitchen makes me depressed every time I look at it. See what I mean? That cinema. This is a complete cinema right here. So I can sit here in a fully lit environment at a 150 inch screen and display. So far, these are the. No, 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 no. I forgot. I had a 200 inch screen in one of the houses and a 150 inch and a 235.1 in the house, too, also. Hmm. But I think these are the two biggest screens I've ever, ooh, ever had side by side. Can let you get it by the rug. 150 inch in this room and 235 in this one. I'm curious. No, I'm gonna leave that alone. We're done with all that. We're definitely done with that. Oh, like I wonder what size this screen is supposed to be. You probably think it's 90 inches. But we're gonna leave that alone. We're done. We're done. Orders are coming in for the site. Contract is gonna be signed in a couple of weeks. And I got a meeting with the fellow so we can sit down and talk about how well, what he's gonna do with the company or our company. And if all goes well, at the end of the year, I'm getting a part, I'm gonna give him a partnership with our company. <sighs> I think at the end of the year, I'm going house shopping. I'm gonna go buy me a house. decision whether or not we're going to keep PayPal because the reason is the reason why we really actually don't need them we use PayPal for basic for online purchases for customers but since we're going to be doing business with companies they would prefer bank transfers because again PayPal has issues with transferring large sums of money I've been to this before had a big order come through PayPal put it on hold because they had to do some investigation and make sure the money was there, and it was a headache because the order wanted to hold along with it. So with that being said, PayPal can only do, I think they said a transfer of 60 grand or something like that. It was something crazy they said they could only do. And that is not gonna work for the contracts we're gonna get. So I am basically considering the fact that once the two months is up or whether the contract's kicking on time or, cut, or we're kicking up, either way when they kick in and we shut down the shopping carts, we're gonna let PayPal go. And I'm going to basically set up a couple of uh, corporate bank accounts and we're going to do everything through transfer. Because, like I said, I'm not dealing with customers at the end of the day. I'm dealing with companies. So, these companies go out.
they work with other companies, they pay them, they pay us. And again, basically, like I said, I wouldn't need PayPal. We just put in my routing number and transfer the funds to my banking account. And that's it, go to work. Been with PayPal for like 12 years, over 12 years. But eh, it's time to let them go. It's time to bigger, it, it, I gotta move on to bigger, um, bigger um, bank institutions. That'll be to transfer what we need to be able to carry what we're gonna do at the end of the day. I have no time for no hangups. It's good, don't get me wrong. PayPal is very good for business and all, but yeah, we don't need them anymore. And I'm pretty sure the other companies may be using it, of course, yeah, because, you know, then again, I don't know, they probably won't be using them because we're working with companies also, too. Yeah, like I said, I went online and did some research, which one would be better, banking or basic with PayPal, and PayPal's going to give us problems in the end. It's going to be a headache. Like, I think we have to worry about basically people are going to be doing, but we're going to be all contracted at the end of the day. Everybody's going to be contracted. So there's going to be no complications and no problems and none of that stuff. We have to worry about customers doing disrespectful stuff to our products and none of that stuff. We're dealing with companies at the end of the day. A company has more to lose. They don't want to go to court. They don't want to get sued for the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, or millions of dollars, whatever the contract may hold. And they don't want their reputation stained. So they're going to act right. It gives, you much, it gives you a lot to think about. I mean, that customer, we didn't do anything wrong to him. We basically shipped out our product. We did everything by the book. And this guy used a fake projector on my products. We don't use fake projectors. And it's something we never have to go through with company contracts. We don't have to go through that crap. I understand we have a lot of amazing customers at the end of the day and support a company. Yes, they do. We do have a lot of amazing customers. But that crap right there, like I said, yeah, that individual has some problems. I even went there and sent them a free blackout cloth, money out of my own pocket. And that's why I'm, that's it. I'm basically, like I said, not that didn't change my mind to basically transfer over to, um, to go to corporate. Basically, being blessed to have a contract that I saw that was going to change our company made the decision for me what we wanted. And I think God is pushing us in the right direction. This is where we need to go. Like I said, the fellow we're working with, fantastic. This guy is absolutely fantastic. Best contract I've ever had. So this is the direction we're going. So we put the paint at 100 bucks at 32 ounces. And after that, we shut it down. Demonstration for 235.1 is at 360 Ocean. Can't find that thing for Jack. That's a good demonstration, though. Man, I am really happy. I am really, really happy, man. And I got it bigger than what it was at 158, 158, 
162. Sorry, 160, So I should have pushed right in place. Probably get like maybe like 70 inches, maybe 70 inches in portrait mode. I'm gonna do three projector setups in here. Ultra short throw for the 168 inch 235.1 and two projectors back here for our portrait mode. I'm gonna do dual portrait mode screens. Because the 235 is very wide, so we can put two, probably eight inches in portrait mode or 60 inches in portrait mode for the Chrissy LW 400. So I already got one of them. I just got to replace the lamp. So that's about 35 dollars to replace the lamp, and the projector's cheap, like 130 bucks. That's it. I'm definitely going to use this screen. Last time, the last screen, didn't use it for Jack. I'm going to get me a selection of movies on a hard drive. I might use Apple TV. I think I'm going to do Apple TV on this. And get a selection of um, of, uh, of all 235 widescreen movies on here to watch. Oh, Taco, yeah, I got your rug in here, buddy. So you can sit here and chill on your rug. I bought your rug here for you. All right. Sorry, my bad. Don't want my camera, please. We get this done we'll show you the benefits of 235.1 on a black surface because we don't have or well, actually we're in 235.1 so actually uh we're not going to have any black bars they don't exist we have an actual 235.1 screen if you have a 16.9 and some do a 69 and you want to change that to 235.1 then you're going to have the black bars Okay, what did she do with it? Did you just watch that? The whole thing just literally just disappeared. Uh -huh. She's doing here. That was weird. Like literally. Whole thing just disappeared. Oh, I forgot. We're in 235.1. Yeah, some of the screens can be missing. That's why. That's why. Some of the screen is definitely missing. We're in 235.1. You can't see it. Ultra wide screen, 235.1. Let's pick it up. Getting that from YouTube. Ultra wide screen, boom, boom. So, because you can get it 235. Oh, let's turn that one. Let's turn it up because you can't even see the free screen with the lights on. Jeez, what is in the dark to see this thing. I gotta tell you, people with white screens, I don't know how the freak you do it. I don't. You can't even turn the lights on with the things. They wash out automatically from the door. Look at this. Boom. Where the freak is the screen? This is why you have to be in the dark all the time. All right, I'm gonna put my fish back on. I'm going to the next room. I got at least I got some light rejection technology in there. 
4K tropical relaxing fish. Getting that from YouTube. Let me give you a piece of advice. If you're gonna steal. This is why you guys are always stuck in dark environments. Your screens can't see. Gee whiz, I don't know how people do that crap. Oh, oh Taco, you wanted the stuffed animals? Ha ha, I promise you. By the way, you monster. I don't know how in the world you don't deal with that freaking mess. Screens don't wash out, colors don't come up correctly, can't have the freaking lights on. And then you're subjected to tiny screens because a 100 inch screen is considered to be small for me. I'm not changing it. I'm watching my TV show. I'm not watching my TV shows. What do we watch? How is it made? All right, I'm getting out of here. Uh, I'm going to actually go and paint my screen in. So that way I can at least have my lights on and watch my 235.1 because I don't want to be trapped in the dark. I don't know how people do that nonsense. I don't get it. All right, with that being said, got to go. Thank you all and God bless.